Howdy y'all, uh, welcome to Chibro and Sons, week 5 on the road to Kelowna. It's one heck of a week, let me tell you, this is completely the wrong script, cool. Howdy y'all, <laughs> uh, welcome to Chibro and Sons, week 7 on the road to Kelowna. We missed posting last week, uh, not that we were working out and tracking, mind you. Um, it was just a weekend with our friends, so we didn't get any time to post. Where going to the gym is making sure that you have time for real life. That's a cat butthole. Cool. Um, so you need to deload. You need to have fun. And then you go back and hit it hard the next time. Um, that's what we did. We hung out with our friends and went to the gym late on Sunday. Ran out of time that day, but you know what? We still got some good stuff done. Um, this week was the first week of the month, which means Shark Week. Shark Week is when we test all of our new PRs, uh, see if we're you know on track or not. Um, test squat, bench, dead. Always in that order. Uh, both Ben and I went three for three testing our new PRs, which means uh, for all three of them, we got new PRs. Bench, I landed my PR at plate 40. Replicated that twice throughout the week. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, switched over the last two weeks to some dumbbell flies as well to get more chest activation. Probably gonna keep doing that to get more growth. Uh, it's got a wider range of motion. Um, not sure I'll get the two plate for Kelowna, uh, but I'm gonna damn well try. Uh, the general thought on dumbbells is that uh, if you're doing 80% of your max um, in each hand for your dumbbell, and then 80% of that for strength training. So it's a pretty big ego hit to drop from 215 down to 140 or 70 in each hand. But getting my hurt shoulder to catch up with all of it will be worth it. It's 65% uh, of my max. I'm hoping that after a week or two of flipping between standard and dumbbell, I can hit the 75s, get myself up to 70% of my max, which is almost in strength instead of hypertrophy range, uh, ignoring the dumbbell to batch benching. It's complicated math. You don't need to know about it unless you're doing what I'm doing. Uh, squat, uh, the new PR is two plate 20. We are really close on the two plates, uh, 22.5, but we just couldn't break mid. I think it was probably because we did so much lead up, you know, a bunch of singles, making sure that we can actually hit them uh, competition depth. Uh, otherwise, uh, the rest of the week, I did some pretty insane two plate five for six by six. Uh, funny story, on Sunday the 1st, I was finishing up my first six by six at that way. I had done some 6x5s before. I got into the hole on rep 36, and I was at this point barely conscious. It, squatting takes a lot out of you. Um, I start pushing up, and it was clear that I was not going to make it. Uh, through the fog, all I hear is push, and that was Ben. And then go, 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 and that wasn't Ben. Uh, someone else. Uh, and then another person, um, I got it off, and I'm not kidding, there was like five people clapping. <laughs> I'll never understand what it is that people think that gym bros are jerks, like why they think that. I've never been so accepted in a gym, like, except at an actual powerlifting meet. Um, PR day was uh, some limited stuff. Max load means you can't do very much volume. So uh, that's why we only check it, you know, once a month. Um, today being yesterday, because I'm now recording on Monday, yesterday being today, being Sunday, which is the last day of our lift week. So if I say today, I'm Sunday, even though today is Monday. Um, today was a solid six by six. Uh, maybe a little bit questionable depth on a few of them. Uh, will I get to the two plate 25 in Kelowna? Yes, uh, more on this later. Deadlift. Um, whatever dumb I did, uh, it's gone. I nailed not only replicating my four plate twice this week, I managed a four plate five. Um, that puts me at a total of 415 out of a provincial record of 420. 
So I only need five more pounds to match it, 10 more pounds to beat it. Put in some ridiculous volume this week. I was watching Calgary Barbell on YouTube and not too surprisingly, uh, they had some good tips. So I set up a two play barbell in my living room. I was doing some sumo and slack pulls uh, every commercial break when I'm watching TV. I really want my record. And I really don't want to hitch it up by front and get called and get a blue card. Um, I don't think it'll be an issue. I just, I just wish I could actually claim it when I earn it, but you know, that wouldn't actually be fair to people. Anyways, uh, bicep curls. I was a little off and on. Uh, I just couldn't do it after uh, benching on the uh, 21st or 24th to 1st. So I only did it uh, once this week, but I decided to go up to 35 pounds for six by six. It was hard, but I think it was worth it. Um, I shouldn't ignore it, even though it doesn't directly help the main three lifts. Uh, grip strength matters and, you know, brachialis tension matters for the deadlift, so it kind of contributes. Lat pull downs were a good form for uh, 165 on the first. Uh, so this week went to 6x7 at 170. I was logging in very tight, using the right muscles, and I just crushed it. Might actually bump it up uh, this coming week to 175. Uh, it's funny, there was a little bit of time when I was worried about how ugly it was making my back look. Because huge laps aren't exactly attractive on a lady. Um, but I would rather live to deadlift than look good. Uh, with little top on. Uh, that time has come and gone. Which brings us to our first new addition. We're now supersetting the lat pull downs with calf raises. Uh, it's a two plate sitting calf raise, uh, sets of 10. First day I got through four sets and my right calf cramped and blew out really hard. Uh, I had to drop the load. Luckily the gym was empty so nobody cared. Uh, today I got the full set of six sets of 10, because I really want my freaking squat to play 25, damn it. Back extension, um, skipped it all last week, skipped it all this week. Uh, today, with my extra workload, I was tweaking very slightly in the lower back and butt region, so I'm thinking I'm making the right choice there. Not failing my squats at the good morning now, uh, so giving a proper time to heal seems to be working. No, stop. Uh, sitting row was at 165 uh, for 6x7 and 6x8 on March 1st, but I just got too lazy to swap out what Ben was doing, so I just went up to 175 and did a 6x6 all week, and then a 6x7 today. I'm putting a lot of emphasis, emphasis, emphasis on my rhomboids at the pole, uh, locking my back uh, when we do a floppy every second set, so you do the pull, and then when you're completed your set, you actually just lean all the way backwards. So it's kind of like doing a back extension with a lot of weight, but you're doing it from a sitting position instead of uh, um, against gravity, I guess. It, it has function, uh, is what I'm saying. It's, it's useful for the hip thrust portion of the lockout of the deadlift. We've been doing that for a little while, actually. So I am hoping that that'll get my uh, deadlift uh, a bit better since I can lock my upper back a lot better and that's fixing my lower back rounding. Which brings us to our second uh, additional superset, which is the glute bridge. Um, with doing isolation, we were just running out of time. So we're now just straight up supersetting the glute bridges with this so we don't skip it. I know my squat and dead both really need butt activation so I can't afford not to be doing this exercise. Uh, last week I did six by 10 at plate 25, and I hilariously farted several times during the set and nobody noticed, but it smelled really bad, but it was pretty funny. Um, this week did two plates, uh, six by six. I'm hoping next week I can power through um, a six by 10 at the two plate a few times. Uh, we'll see. Peck fly. Uh, last week was 190 at 6x6, and it was kind of ugly. Uh, this week it was really clean, 
decided to uh, skip right up to 197 6x6 instead of doing 6x7 at 190. Feeling really good and I want to keep up the chest tension uh, to get that two plate bench in Kelowna. So max loading this is really important. It's that extra range of motion, extra overload. It's not 215, but I'm working up in the 80% range. So that's not bad for accessory work. Which brings us to the third superset edition, the hamstring raises. Uh, it's the standing version, not the sitting version. I uh, doubled it in at 60 pounds. I did a six by six today uh, with a 45 at a six by 10 on Friday. Uh, this was actually mostly because we were bored <laughs> waiting for pecs to be rested. And the ham raise is right next to the pack deck. I haven't been worried about hamstring strength uh, since it isn't part of any tested lift but it matters for downward tension during the squat. Uh, maintaining control on the way down means better explosion out of the hole, in theory. So uh, we're going to be hitting them now, supersetting with the pec fly, and see how far we can go. Um, flip that around to the reverse fly, or back fly. That was a solid six by seven for several sessions, so I went up to 152 six by six today. I think I can probably go 160 on a good day, so depending on what Ben does, I might just do that. Uh, it's easier than flipping weights around with the little half clicker thing, which is like a seven and a half pound, and then you have to like lean around the machine. By then you're all exhausted anyways, and you don't want to put in extra work. Yeah, the wrong light focus is clearly working. My sleep is not working. I am so bloody tired right now. And was that a fourth superset? You're damn right. The uh, leg extension, the sitting leg press, is right next to the back deck as well. So we decided to superset the back fly with leg extensions. I know it's sort of ego lifting, but frankly, any extra squat volume uh, that I can do is going to be worth something. Um, I was in the endurance stage here. I was doing six sets of 15 at both 250 and 265. I'm gonna keep going as hard as I can until I max out the machine, which will be pretty soon. I'm gonna already max it out for a set of six, but not for six by 15. Um, any extra bit to help my quad size, even though it's not my weak point, it can't hurt, except physically it, it hurts. My legs are because I'm not sleeping well, because I don't know why I'm not sleeping well. The little human is loud. Everyone's loud in this house. Uh, overhead press. We didn't do it all week or all last week. Uh, I just want to keep my shoulder for benching and my back for deads and squats. That means I'll be skipping some deltoid development uh, for the next month, um, but my goals uh, in other exercises are just more important. I can't be stressing out my shoulder like that. Uh, landmines, same deal. I just, I want my shoulder to heal, it needs to heal. I can't afford for it to be in the same pain that it's been in for so long. It's been like six months. So I'm focusing on quality volume instead of just volume, which sucks because I love landmines, uh, but I need my shoulder to heal um, doing the primary lifts, uh, especially with the dumbbell work requiring more stabilizers. The overhead and landmines just aren't, aren't important enough for me to uh, be focusing my body healing on that. Uh, triceps and face pulls. I uh, was so clean last week at 135, I said screw it and just went to 145. Uh, stop hitting the box, kitty. Stop. Ow! Stop! Ow! Ah, you jerk! Kitty, why? Be good. I won't kill you. I won't kill you, you're going to. Um, yeah, so uh, the few days at 6x5. Um, Today I got, I dug really deep. This was the last thing I was doing and I got a six by six. Um, I was actually digging so deep that I ripped a fistful of hair out of my head uh, during one set of extensions, because, you know, you have to uh, pull back, which means I grabbed this by accident, pulled forward, pulled out a big chunk of my own hair. Worth it, damn it. Plus, you know, it cuts more weight, which makes me a lower weight class. Okay. Um, so that's the full thing. 
I know, it's a lot of changes, uh, some PRs, all that. The important takeaway is that I've started including uh, what I can only describe as a stupid amount of leg volume to get my squat where I want it. Uh, I was literally phasing in and out of uh, reality in my head today, both uh, at the gym and, uh, and while I was eating, because I was just so out of energy. Which is funny, because I just spent the last month bulking. Um, couldn't get over 202 pounds. Woke up this morning at 203, and then woke up today morning, also uh, Monday morning, at 202 again. I, I don't know. You bulk, you don't get any weight. You start cutting, you start gaining weight. Uh, hopefully that all goes to my thighs and my hip abductors. So be good, my people. Thanks for uh, joining Roar and me and my stupid little kitty, uh, Ellie, today. We will see you on that road to Kelowna.